Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of videos which will introduce you to the very basics of using the LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet. In this video, I'm just going to be focusing on some overall aspects of how the interface works. So I'm just going to grab an empty spreadsheet. So here's an empty spreadsheet. And let's look around at it. But first of all, I want to point out that most spreadsheet programs are pretty similar. So if you know how to use LibreOffice Calc, you'll find that Excel is very similar. So here is the web version of Excel. We won't be using the web version of Excel much during the course because there's one really crucial thing we need you to do, which is trend lines on graphs, which you can't do in the web version of Excel. If you have the desktop version of Excel, then go ahead and use that, and it's pretty similar to LibreOffice Calc. The biggest difference you'll notice is that LibreOffice Calc has this set up with a menu and then toolbars, whereas Excel has this setup of what's called the ribbon, where clicking the various different tabs brings up a series of buttons. I find the ribbon really annoying, but that's because I'm sort of old school and I grew up using menus in spreadsheets. Um, another option is Google Sheets. And it's also very similar, but because it's a web interface, there were, I guess, some limitations in its design. And I find certain aspects of how you do things in it a little clunky compared with a desktop app like LibreOffice. You should not simply be watching this video. You should be do th doing things along with it. So you should open a spreadsheet of your own and try things out as I show them to you. But let's start by just getting a little bit oriented. Up at the very top, you have a series of menus. Mine appears only when I hover over it because I'm in a Linux system. You're probably on Windows and your menus are probably always there. If you are unsure how to do something, simply searching through the menus is often one way to figure it out. So as a last resort, just searching through all the menus for something that looks like what you want is often a good option. Under that, you have a series of toolbars. I won't talk very much about them, but in particular, the formatting buttons here are things you'll probably find useful. The main part of the spreadsheet where most of the work happens is this big area down here. So this whole area is divided into cells, and the cells have addresses. So you see the columns are labeled A, B, C, D, E, and so on. And if we go over farther, you see they continue into A, 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 B, and so on. And the rows are labeled with numbers. And so if I click into this cell here, I am in column D and row six. And so this cell is called D6. That's its address. And this little area here is showing that I'm clicked into D6. If I click into other cells, you'll see that it displays them. The other place that's useful to look at is here. And a lot of the time, a lot of your work happens here. This shows what's in the current cell. So for example, there's nothing in any of these cells here, but if I just start typing, you can see it appear in the cell and you can also see it appear here. So when I'm in any other cell, this is showing nothing, but if I click in there, you can see the hello. So one of the first things to get used to is just how to move around in the spreadsheet. How do you move what cell you have selected? How do you use the scroll bars? And various keys move you around. Also, there are ways to select groups of cells. So I could tell you, but I think it's going to work better for you to try it out. So I want you to try out the arrow keys, the enter key, the tab key, the page up down keys, 
try all of those in combination with shift. Also, try out your mouse wheel with and without shift. And also what happens when you click, what happens when you click and drag. Try all of those out.